Good morning. Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here today talking about campus electrification efforts. So, higher institutions have a unique role in the fight against climate change. It was academics and researchers at these institutions who first proposed climate change, greenhouse gas effect. Now, as the fight against climate change rages on, the role of higher education institutions has changed to lead by research, outreach, and example, serving as living lear learning laboratories to test and pilot sustainable solutions. Fitting into Georgia Tech's living learning lab, Electrify GT is a student-led sustainability organization. We are focused on helping Georgia Tech reduce their carbon footprint in a cost-effective manner. We do this by leveraging research like feasibility analyses and engaging key stakeholders. Our mission is to rapidly reduce Georgia Tech's carbon emissions by, you can probably guess it, electrification. We believe that this transition and the associated public health benefits and cost benefits are crucial to short-term and long-term campus planning. So, we're now that we're in our, our third year as a student org, our membership is growing quickly. We have members representative of all six colleges at Georgia Tech, which allows us to create diverse solutions to sustainability issues across campus. Now, in that short time, I'm proud to say we have had significant success. Um, among those, we were able to help GT Landscaping transition to nearly carbon zero operations. Uh, we were able to do this by collaborating with them and finding that almost 30% of the fuel that they use isn't burned properly and thus is emitted as just noxic, noxious and toxic chemicals and gases on our campus, not to mention noise pollution. Our report resulted in a mandate that they electrify all of their equipment. Another past success came from our collaboration with the Georgia Tech Police Department, where they bought three Mustang mach based on our recommendations. In our research, we were trying to explore how would electric vehicle patrol cars look in replacement of gas patrol cars. These cars are idling for a lot of their lifetime, which makes them prime candidates for electrification. We found in our report that GTPD stands to save up to $4,000 per vehicle and literally tons of carbon. Now, aside from the practical benefits of our org and our project-based focuses, our goal is to develop future climate leaders. In our first cohort of SPARK training, we have 13 members who are getting weekly lessons and conducting a project on, on analyzing the effects of natural gas dryers on campus. Through this, they're gaining valuable skills in carbon accounting, life cycle assessment, and cost analysis. These are all skills they can leverage in their careers wherever they may go. And in that realm, we've launched a speaker series inviting faculty, uh, entrepreneurs in the space, and corporate sustainability officers to highlight and showcase potential career opportunities. Now, 
these efforts have paid off, I want to say. I'm proud to say that. Um, our students and members have participated and succeeded in numerous uh, events on campus, such as the Car Production Challenge, which we've won two years in a row and are excited to participate in again in meaningful collaborations with other campus bodies, such as research labs, our students can also continue researching there. Uh, I'm happy to say one of our past projects, they just got published in Nature Manuscripts in partnership with a lab on campus. Now, I'm saying all of this to highlight that with the support from faculty and administration on campus, we've been able to achieve a significant amount in a little bit of time. I want our experience here at Georgia Tech to serve as a model for other institutions of higher education. I hope that these other institutions are encouraging student sustainability initiatives, supporting them to foster innovation, and more importantly, to encourage students to believe in themselves and to showcase that they can drive change and emphasize that no impact or action is too small. Thank you for your time. Thank you.